cycles mainly refer to the movement of nutrients and other elements between biotic and abiotic factors. One of the biotriochemical is phosphorus. Before I discuss phosphorus cycle, let me first give you a short background of the properties and importance of phosphorus. Phosphorus is a very widely distributed element, 12th most abundant in Earth's crust, to which it contributes about 0.10 weight percent. Phosphorus is a chemical element with the symbol P and the atomic number 15. Phosphorus is important to all living things such as animals, plants, and to us humans. Phosphorus is important to plants because this helps the plants during photosynthesis. It is also an essential component of DNA, the genetic material that allows plants to grow and reproduce. It allows cells to conserve and use the energy released in metabolism. Phosphorus improves flower formation and seed production and promotes more uniform and earlier crop maturity. It also helps in the development of new tissues and it stimulates roots development. Without phosphorus, plants will not grow and without plants, life on earth will be impossible. Phosphorus is also important to animals. Phosphorus, together with calcium, gives rigidity to the bones of the animals. It is also important in energy and protein metabolism. Phosphorus is also important to us. It forms and keeps strong our bones and teeth. Phosphorus also helps maintain our energy levels. It forms our genetic material, DNA and RNA. It helps form the membrane of our cell. It keeps the health function of our brain and nervous system. Phosphorus also helps to maintain acid balance, pH. And it helps oxygen deliver in our body through our bloodstream. Phosphorus is found on Earth's crust, specifically in rocks. Extraction of phosphorus from the rocks by weathering during rain. Phosphorus will be absorbed by the soil. Plants will absorb the phosphorus through their roots. Consumers will absorb the phosphorus once they consume the plants. If the animals or plants die, the decomposers will absorb the phosphorus from the remains of dead plants or animals. Once the decomposers die, the phosphorus will return to the soil and the cycle goes on. But not all phosphorus will be absorbed by the soil. Some of it goes to the water stream through leaching. Some of the phosphorus during weathering are carried by rainwater to the water stream. Human activity like farming contributes to phosphorus deposit in the bodies of water. Farmers use fertilizers which made of artificial phosphorus during rain runoff from farms happen. The formation of phosphorus sediments happen on the sea or ocean floor. These phosphorus sediments will later on become new rock. Too much phosphorus deposit in the bodies of water can cause red tide. Red tide happens when algae grow in number and covers the ocean floor. Red tide is also known as harmful algae bloom. Algae is important to marine life because these serve as the food of fishes and other marine life. But too much of these algae have a negative effect. Once the algae die, they will be consumed by deadly bacteria that releases toxins that when ingested by humans can cause harm and sometimes death. This is called Paralytic Shellfish Poisoning or PSP. Person that ingested contaminated seafood can feel headache, dizziness, nausea, muscular paralysis, respiratory difficulty that leads to death. It is very important to see a doctor if you think you may have eaten contaminated seafood. Red tide can also lead to fish kill and the destruction of marine life. It is very important that we will lessen the use of products that contributes to the increase of level of phosphorus in bodies of water. Let us lessen the use of detergent or choose non-phosphorus detergent, reduce the use of fertilizers, Potato peel and meat products contain high phosphorus level. We must dispose our garbage properly. Use buffer strip to prevent runoff during rain.